first of all, vote for Rachel Ham. Second thing is let's pray. Let's pray for several things. Let's pray that if they steal votes in the machines, the votes are flipped back. Let's pray that if they create fraudulent ballots, they're incinerated. Let's ask the angels to go burn them up. No fake ballots. If people who are not American citizens try to vote, let's pray it doesn't work, that that vote disappears. Any attempt, any of the 1,000 ways that they are attempting to cheat, let's pray that it doesn't work. That, that their schemes to cheat and to steal fall back on their own head and that they are unsuccessful. Would you agree with me in prayer for that? I know it's a weird thing to pray. These are weird times. We're in war and it's a weird war. But one of the ways I think we're going to win this war is through praying prayers like this. So join me in praying for that and also vote in person for Rachel Hamm for Secretary of State for the state of California so that I can be the chief elections officer for the state of California to give California an honest election. Today, I want to talk to you about Rachel Hamm. She is a GOP candidate for Secretary of State in California. So she has a video where she's asking her supporters to join her in prayer, praying that if the Democrats and the left try to steal the election again, that it'll be turned over. She says things like, if the machines are rigged with their prayers, the machines will turn the votes back to the actual votes. If fake ballots are sent in with their prayers, the angels will make the ballots incinerate. She literally says incinerate. And she says that, that she wants her supporters to pray that if non-citizens vote, those votes won't be counted. Now, I don't usually like to talk about people who clearly have mental health issues, but Jesus Christ, this lady's lost her mind. God damn, she is cook. Holy moly. Her strategy is let's pray the bad votes away. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss, but I will. I do know what to say. The problem isn't Rachel Hamm. The problem is there's a lot of people on the right, GOP folks, who think like this, who've lost their goddamn minds, who believe that somehow Donald Trump was brought to them by God and this was all meant to be and it was all meant to come together and turn over Roe versus Wade and get rid of all the bad and negative quote-unquote immigrant types and non-citizens. It's nuts, nuts, nuts. Hey, Rachel Hamm and other people like Rachel Hamm, I got news for you. He lost the election. He lost the election. Trump lost. Trump lost. He lost. He lost. He lost. Hallelujah. He lost. Amen. He lost. He lost. He lost. He lost. He lost. It's been, it's, it's factual. It's, there's no alternative facts. He lost. And you know what? He's playing you guys. That's the biggest, it breaks my heart because Trump isn't, he's not a former president. He's not a, uh, a businessman. He is a televangelist. He realized it. I guarantee you one day he was flipping channels and watched the televangelist tell his flock to give him all their money. And he thought, holy shit, that's the play. And so here we are. We got people like Rachel Ham who believe the big lie that Trump won, which he didn't. And she thinks that she can pray away any bad votes in future elections, which by the way, a lot of the bad votes, there weren't that many fraudulent votes, but a lot of them were done by the right. It seems like a lot of cases are coming out where people on the right were trying to vote maybe twice, find other ways to cheat. Mark Meadows, his chief of staff, has issues with his voting. So I'm just saying, Rachel, if you're going to be praying for the votes to be legit, please pray for Republicans to stop trying to steal elections. Pray for the Republicans to stop trying to make it harder for people of color to vote by passing laws in all these states. Pray for free and fair elections. And then let's see who wins. How's that, Rachel? How's that? Amen.